Hey guys, good morning or good late morning. <laughs> um, just wanted to jump on and do my next video on my new series on mindset, motivation, and behavioral change. Um, I've been getting a lot of cool feedback on this one, so I'm glad that it's something that you guys wanted to learn more about or just uh, maybe get some answers for yourself. I hope it's something that you find value in. So I'll get right to it. Um, we're gonna go over uh, the top eight reasons why you need a coach today. Um, and as you know, like successful people have coaches, you know, to help guide to help guide you where you're committed to going. And when I say committed, it's because you need to be committed to have a coach in your life in some way. And this can go for business coaching, it could go for life coaching, wellness coaching, career, like whatever it is that you're needing coaching in and in your life. Here's the top eight reasons why you need a coach. So first off, if you want to make improvements in your life, you need a coach. Um, oftentimes I hear a lot of people say like, oh, well, I'm pretty happy, my life's okay, but I know it can be better. So if you're committed to getting your life to the next level, whether it's whatever aspect of your life, whether it's, you know, um, maybe it's a little bit of everything, it could be um, just your career or just your wellness, just your health, whatever it is, if you know you want that area to be better, or maybe it's all across the board, because a lot oftentimes how we do anything is how we do everything. And if one thing isn't kind of going well in your life, typically that spills out into other areas too. So whatever you want to make an improvement in something, you definitely need a coach in your life. Number two is that you're going through a transitional period of some sort. Um, and you know you know that it, you know that you need some guidance um, when when you have a coach a coach can kind of be like your roadmap you know when you're lost so the coach can kind of guide you through um, where you're going next you know sometimes it's like it helps you find the answers um, that maybe you didn't even know you were even looking for number three is that you want to make yourself a priority again. And I hear this often from a lot of like busy women especially, like we want to we want to kind of be everything to everybody and we kind of you know, we're all super busy and we put everyone else in front of our own needs and sometimes we just need someone to reassure us that that it's okay to put ourselves first and to make ourselves a priority above and beyond anyone else that we're caring for in our life. Um, the next one is that you you just need some support in your life. So if you need support in your life, you definitely need a coach because um, maybe it's that you need an upgrade in the people that you surround yourself with, um, or maybe you can't do much about the people that you're surrounded with and they don't give you a lot of support, so that's why you go to you know work with a coach that can give you support. Um, or maybe that coach can help you to ask um, and communicate that you need more support for the people around you. Um, and then you can become you know, more successful in, in gaining that support. Another reason why you might need a coach is because uh, you're, you could be dealing with like stress or fear, frustration, or even lack of confidence when you know in your life or when you're making decisions. So what a coach can do is really help you um, help you get unstuck and stay in action, keep things moving forward. Um, oftentimes we have a lot of self-limiting beliefs and um, a coach will help you um, kind of get past those self-limiting beliefs and become aware of them so that when you know when they happen again, you can keep moving forward. Next up is probably one of the most important is that you probably need a coach when you say that you need accountability to be your best. And I know this is for me too. Like I I pay for coaching from a, in a lot of different areas of my life because when I'm accountable to something is like when I keep doing it. Um, 
one of the things that I've become aware of is that I kind of, um, I give up on myself when I'm like, almost to my goal like if I get to like 80% of my goal is when it's like hard for me to like get the remaining part of um, whatever it is that I want to accomplish completed so when I like pay for that accountability is when I actually you know see things full to 100% um, so if you know that you do your best when you're accountable to somebody maybe it's also because you know I think this becomes most important when life throws those curveballs at you, which which happens. It's always going to happen. And if you have somebody to help you stay on track and to keep pushing forward no matter what, um, that's where the accountability aspect is super important. Next up, if you realize you'll need a coach if you're searching for insight or meaning to something in your life, but you feel blocked. Like you know that there's something that you're like, I need answers with, but you don't know how to get those answers. So coaching can oftentimes give you some fresh ideas and perspectives that you sometimes can't figure out on your own. Um, I think that that's like, again, that's that awareness factor that um, having a coach can help you, you know, can help you decipher between, um, you know, what's up, you know, what you need next, or, or maybe you just need like someone else's um, guidance. And, and like I said, that fresh idea um, that you wouldn't get if you're just trying to figure it out on your own, even if you're doing your own type, type of like self-help, um, having that other, you know, brain helping you through um, can be a world of a difference. Um, and lastly, Again, like I said, you need that direct access to answers and you don't have the time or money to waste. So that's when coaching will become very important. It will save you time and money in the long run. And um, because we try to oftentimes like reinvent the wheel and we're trying like a bazillion different things except for the one thing that we know will work. Um, and sometimes when we need you know, we, we need like no playing around. Like we just need someone else to tell us exactly what it is that we need to do. Um, and I know I like that too. I like when somebody else just tells me what to do because I'll do it. Um, I will follow whatever system, program, whatever. If, um, if someone is coaching me along and is telling me what to do, thanks guys, thanks Connie. You said, um, well said because it's true. Um, tell me what to do and I will do it. <laughs> um, just to kind of like go over everything that we talked about, the main, I think the main thing here is that awareness is key and coaching really helps you become aware in what's stopping you most in life. So we know what we know and we know what we don't know, but sometimes we don't know that, that other missing aspect and it's a coach that can help us raise awareness to that little tiny thing that might make the biggest difference and the biggest impact in our lives. So just to close up and finish up here, I want you guys to stay tuned because later in the week I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be um, posting more on this topic and I have an awesome announcement later this week about a special free gift that I'm gonna be offering to you guys. Thanks again for checking in and um, give me some feedback. I really enjoy hearing what you got out of this and what questions you might have. Talk soon, guys.